Are you ready? Today we're talking about Thon Maker. Um, just an interview came out a couple days ago. I've been wanting to talk about it, but I felt other videos were more important. Um, you know, he, he's gone on and said that the Pistons don't want him to be robotic anymore. And I think that's part of the reason Milwaukee moved on from him is, you know, he wasn't necessarily trying to get better. He was just um, standing in the corner and shooting threes, and that's what hurt us come playoff time, you know. We needed more out of Thon Maker. He wants, he wants to get better now. I don't, I don't think he ever didn't want to get better, but I think he was trying to get better for the wrong reasons, try to get better at shooting threes to fit better with the team instead of working on his overall game and getting better. Um, he has gone on to say that the Pistons want him to get back to what he used to do in high school, and that's taking people off the dribble. Um, you know, he's got very good handles for a big guy, and you know, he, he gets some guys on him that can't do it so like Drummond, you know, does, it doesn't have a good time guarding those guys that can play in the perimeter like that. So he can cause a mis uh, mismatches. Um, you know, he was very good at attacking the basket, and that's what he's getting back on. You can, you can see that in his workout videos through the offseason. That's, that's been his main goal and his main focus is getting back to attacking the basket. That will be huge for him, okay? If it doesn't work out here in Detroit, you know, so be it, um, especially since we got some competition. Uh, with Woods coming over here, um, and then we got some very good power forwards that we have signed. So the competition is going to be very tough this year um, for backup minutes. But uh, I, I believe in Thon Maker. Thon can do it, especially if he's getting back to this route. Um, but he is going to be a very good player in this league. You know, he's still super young. Um, he's got a great coach in Dwayne Casey. He's got great teammates that want to see him thrive. You can say what you want about Drummond, but Drummond, you know, is good with these young guys. You know, he wants to see these young guys perform. You know, he took Stanley Johnson under his wing. Um, he was one of the first guys to greet Thon Maker here. He was the first guy besides Dwayne Casey, Estefanski, and Tom Gores to meet Seku here. So, the Pistons, you know, they're very supportive of each other. You know, they want to see each other thrive. And Thon Maker working out like this, you've seen Thon Maker, Drummond, and Luke Kennard all hang out and work together. That's huge. You know, those are three young pieces for this team. They're only going to get better. Um, Thon Maker attacking the basket would be huge, not only for the Pistons, but just for him in general. We need this from him. You know, our, our bench suffered last season. It's like once we took Blake and Drummond out, we had nothing, nothing at all. Um, Thon Maker could be this spark outside of Derrick Rose, you know, that could help this bench take off. We did a great job this season of getting depth for that purpose, but those bench players need to get better, you know. And I, I, I think, I think you know, th that Dwayne Casey has changed his mindset of this team. You know, with Stan Van Gundy, it was perform or get traded. You know, and I, I think we've heard a lot of these trade rumors this offseason, but I think Dwayne Casey is putting the emphasis on getting these players better so he doesn't have to trade them, which is good. You know, Stan Van Gundy did a lot of moves that hurt this team for the future to try to win now. And I, I think I think you know Dwayne Casey's coming on this as a, as a complete opposite uh, mindset. You know I th I think you know Thon doesn't feel pushed or anything like he's like getting disrespected or anything, but they want to see him crank it up, and I think that's only a good thing. You know I, I think it's going to be huge for him. I think it's going to be huge for us, and you'll see why I, I I said that Thon Maker's got more potential, or it could be better than Christian Woods. So Thon's got. Yeah, all of it. If Thon balks up, which he's working on that as well, he's going to be a very dangerous player in this league. You got to trust me on this one. Um, we just haven't seen that much of Woods yet to, to you know put him up there. I'm not saying that Woods can't be better than Thon if he's not already. It's just that we, we've seen him on just a, such a small scale. We don't know what he can do yet. But I'm hoping both these guys can perform. You know, maybe we can see both of them out there in the floor at the same time and dominate. You know, at the end of the day, I want the best players on this team. So if it is Woods, so be it. If it's Thon, awesome. Um... Should be a fun, fun off-season training camp. So, um, but with that being said, leave it down in the comment section below. Instagram, Twitter, Mixer, on all those platforms, follow me. 
especially Mixer because 2K comes out this week and I am about to no life it, so you do not want to miss that. And all DSA members are in the description below. Be sure to follow all those guys, and I'll see you peeps tomorrow when the upload tree continues. Peace.